How to start the day, become more productive. Things super successful people do every day. Some of us hop online to check social media, others dive into email, still others eat breakfast, exercise, or pack lunches for the kids. There are a million different ways a morning could go. Drink water. Your body is 72% water, and you don't have enough water in you, when you wake up. Drink a glass of water first thing in the morning, and you will be surprised how much that impacts your sense of physical well-being. Drink at least 500 milliliters of water just after you woke up. Water fires up your metabolism, hydrates you, helps your body flush out toxins, and it gives your brain the fuel to kick start. So why not do it? Stretch, do, yoga, and meditate to lower your stress. You need your bodies to perform a variety of functions for throughout the day, so give your body a stretch, first thing in the morning, to get it ready for what's ahead. This is especially crucial, if you are going to be sitting at a desk all day. Then go for a yoga session and meditate if possible. Visualize. In a famous book of Tony Robbins, Get the Edge, explains the importance of gratitude visualization first thing every morning. In a nutshell, spend roughly 15 minutes thinking of everything you're grateful for, in yourself, among your family and friends, in your career, and the like. After that, visualize everything you want in your life, as if you had it today. The effect? Elevated certainty in everything you do, and always being in peak state. Eat a healthy breakfast. Take that extra time in the morning, to fuel your body for the tasks ahead of it. Not only is breakfast good for your physical health, it is also a good time to connect socially. Even 5 minutes of talking with your kids or spouse, while eating a quick bowl of oatmeal, can boost your spirits before heading out the door. Do your biggest tasks first. When you start with a big item, the rest of your day looks pretty great by comparison. The saying even inspired the title of a best-selling time management book, Eat That Frog, by Brian Tracy. You can find the links to the books mentioned here in the description below. Put first things first. So select your big tasks from the yesterday's schedule. The concept is something to call a tomorrow list. At the end of your day, write down the tasks you need to complete tomorrow. Look at the list when you start the next day. End your day by creating another list for tomorrow. And keep repeating. You can watch our previous video on this topic. Connect with the right people. Relationships are the basis of business, communication is the basis of relationships. Successful people associate with people who are like-minded, focused, and supportive. These people create, energy when they enter the room, versus those who create energy when they leave. Connecting with these positive people in the morning, can bring a positive day for you. Before calling it a day, take a 20-minute walk every evening to allow yourself to disconnect from work. This allows you to evaluate the day's work, think about the greater challenges, gradually stop thinking about work, and reach a state of tiredness. Make it all a habit. Habits are all about efficiency. If you do the same routine day in and day out, not only will you get the results you want, but you also will spend less mental energy doing that routine, because it has become automatic. That mental energy can be used for the important pursuits in your life. Watch the previous video in this series now. Which one do you follow or going to implement in your daily life? Write a note and share in the comments section. Subscribe to Suggested by You, for the amazing informative videos every week. Don't forget to connect on Facebook and Twitter, and ask those questions that matter to you. Thank you for watching.